Man, I can't believe it's 11 o'clock and we're already home from school. I know, right? But I wonder why they let us out so early. Well, apparently there's this huge um, storm supposed to come through with raging floods, hurricane-like winds, and massive tornadoes. I bet it's going to wipe out the whole city. Come on now, I think you may be exaggerating a bit. You make it sound like the end of the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did somebody say the end of the world? Oh, hey, Pranav, what's up? Not so much about to spend the next three hours of freedom with my Fortnite, with my Xbox and Fortnite. What are y'all up to? Nothing much. We were just talking about the storm that's supposed to pass through today. What what storm are y'all talking about? If y'all haven't looked outside in the past five minutes, it's sunny, 60 degrees, and there's not even a cloud in the sky. Well, right now it is, but a lot can happen in a few hours. Shh, I'm not worried about it. Every time they say the storm of the century is about to come through, we get a drizzle at best. Hey guys, would you all be interested in donating $100 to help victims of Hurricane Maria? If you donate $100 right now, you'll get a free $10 Chick-fil-A gift card. Whoa, whoa, what? Give $100, get $10 back? What kind of deal is this? It's for a good cause. Wait, there's still recovery from Maria? Yeah, most of the victims who lost their homes can't afford to rebuild them. Some people are still struggling to find good food and clean water. Man, I can't imagine what they must be going through. I know. Just be thankful we don't have hurricanes in Tennessee. But think about it. What if we did? What if a storm that could completely destroy your life was coming? Do everything I could do to protect it. But how? I mean, she has a point. What could we do to prepare for a natural disaster? Well, let's think about it. What are the essentials of life? Food and water. Shelter and clothing. And medication. Speaking of which, Pranav, aren't you an asthmatic? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, do you have your inhaler? Uh, let me check real quick. No, I don't. Well, people with special needs have to have their medication on them 24-7, so that would be a necessity for them too. Okay, so just make sure you have those things when the storm is predicted. But what about after the storm? What if you were trapped inside your house? How would you communicate with the outside world? In case you didn't know, cell phones don't last forever. I didn't think about that. Maybe we could do a little research. <gasps> Guys, I just had the greatest idea. So after we educate ourselves and do our research, we should make a natural disaster preparation plan. Then we can pass it out to the whole community. Then everyone would know and be prepared. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah, just in case the weather predictions actually come through this time. We should get started ASAP. You never know when the sky can start falling. Well, since we're all free, y'all can come to my house and we can get started on our research. Plus I have pizza rolls. Pizza rolls? What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my crib. Mi casa es su casa. Make yourselves comfortable. Okay, so does anybody have any ideas? Uh, pizza rolls. Or we could look up what we need to survive for a few days. Yeah, we could just do that, I guess. Well, MSA.com says that you need at least three days worth of food and water. Each person in the family should have his or her own gallon of water. Well, what kind of food? If the power's out, the refrigerator wouldn't work. Non-perishables. What are non-perishables? It's food that doesn't go bad without refrigeration, like canned foods. Great. Canned foods. Check. Oh, add a can opener too, just in case. Okay, what's next? Well, eating always makes me tired. Look, the website says you need sleeping bags and blankets for warmth. Also, don't forget the medication for people with medical issues, like me. Hmm, I should probably get this filled. Um, okay, well, we can just pack a whole first aid kit then with bandages, um, gloves, alcohol wipes, gauze, and a CPR face mask, along with the needed medications. Great, we have personal care now. What else do y'all think we need? A radio and flashlight in case the power goes out, and extra batteries too. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't forget about the duct tape. Why would we need Because duct, duct tape fixes everything. No Guys, I promise, no duct tape fixes you. everything. Everything. Time out. Why do we need duct tape? Because duct tape fixes everything. pretty quickly. Is there any way we can use a whistle in a state of emergency? Um, yeah, it says here that a whistle can be used to alert first responders to your location. That's all the necessities. Anything else would be up to the family's needs. Our plan's complete. Well, that means the only thing left to do. Let's go shopping. shopping. I call shotgun. I got five dollars. We find a big bag of pizza rolls at the bottom of the shopping cart. I mean, it is food. Girl, don't encourage them. Come on, let's go.
for chief well then let's get to work abby take your prep pack and flyers down frying pan road spread the word knock on some doors nancy you take popcorn drive pranav cover hillbilly lane i'll get tater peeler road we'll all meet back here in two hours sounds like a plan see y'all soon see, see ya. ya well while they're doing that i'm gonna make a phone call hello chief justice mckenzie moore here I've got a plan I think you'd be very interested in promoting. Awesome. Uh, you think you can meet in the next hour or so? Sounds great. See you soon. Not everyone in the neighborhood has a copy of our plan. It's up to them to be safe now. And a lot of people like it. A nice old lady down the road was telling me, It's just amazing the way young things are making the world a better place. When, when I was your age, all we did was sit in the living room and pray that nothing bad ever happened. You can imagine how helpless we felt. Now, now I feel really prepared and safer than ever. Great. It makes me so happy that we're helping our neighborhood. Well, we're not stopping there. I made a few phone calls and I arranged for our plan to be passed out to the local schools, the police stations, the, the storm shelters, and even the shopping mall. Wow, way to go! Could it be possible that our plan could better the entire city? Definitely. Our weather here is always crazy. No wonder we always get out of school. Oh yeah. Says the guy who said the storm of the century is a mere drizzle. I don't know what you're talking about, cuz. Hey guys, I think we should find shelter. I just got an alert on my phone. Another storm surge is coming through. All right, time to put this life-saving plan into action. I'll see y'all later. Bye, Abby. See you, Abby. Nancy, we have that big test tomorrow. You want to go study for it at my house? Yeah, sure. See you, Pranav. Bye, Hey, guys. Man, I didn't even get my pizza rolls. <laughs> 